Hey everyone, I'm Dark Quarter, and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. So last time I got through a few levels of the third area, the uh, backyard, and now let's continue. I just unlocked the uh, three-peater, so it's got triple the firepower, which is good, but he's very expensive, 325 sun to be exact. So we definitely he's useful, but comes at a price. I think I'll go with the three Peter this time. Try it out. Two things you absolutely need in this area. Lily pads and sunflowers. Everything else is somewhat negotiable. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's definitely bad. That's a waste. Dang it. That's a waste of sun. Oh, that sucked. Oh, that definitely sucked. Should get the potato mine just in time. That guy up there. Yeesh. Lucky I pick the squash too. I could be in trouble. Well, I guess I already have a potato mine down there, so don't have to worry about that guy. That's for sure. Let's see. Put down more lily pads. Don't need to worry about putting down the those guys just yet. Done one of those. This should kill both of those guys. Should. There we go. Good job, Mr. Squash. What we have here. Back far enough. So if we can get away with three lines of sunflowers again. And get as much sun as possible. Oh, look at you. Mr. Conehead. Put down that. Oh, shoot. It's a little too close. It's not good. Oh, if it comes out in time. There we go. Wow, just barely. Dude. Alright. Put down three, Peter. Not gonna work. Not gonna kill him in time. Need to put these guys back as far back as possible because it takes time for that for their shots to spread out. That's why I have to try to put them in the back row, so to speak. And they're really only useful in the four center lines. Because if you put them on the edge, then they're basically losing a third of their attack. So for the outer layers, you're going to have to put a regular... Uh, attacker. 
Let's see. What are you gonna do? But where you do put them, it's concentrate a lot of firepower. So they're definitely useful. Whether they're worth it for the level you're on is something you have to find out either through trial or trial and error or experience. Now they just I just unlocked these guys, so I'm sure they mean for you to experiment with the plants that you just unlocked. So they should work for, you know, at least this level. going on. Not a good thing. That gold coin for it disappears. There are these guys that have the snorkels. Um, they will dodge all your shots until they come across something they can eat. Which means it's a good reason to have a walnut or tall nut there. So they'll start munching on that, and then they can get attacked. Oh yeah, for me. I like how they just pump up the music. During the boss phases. It's pretty cool. What is that? Oh. Okay, the seaweed thing. I was thinking torchwood, but, you know, you're not going to use torchwood yet. Uh, aquatic plant that pulls a zombie underwater. Tangled kelp. Right. So those guys, you can have, um... They're kind of like the potato mine. They'll, uh, kill one zombie in the water. Okay, I got the pull of Walter Zombie. So... There's nothing I have that can stop those guys. Um... That... Uh, let's see. I like having those. I do need the basic pea shooter at least. Well, hmm. maybe we'll get rid of that potato mine because I want a couple. I want to be able to have this guy, but I want to have another shooter. I think I'll use the repeater this time. Yeah. Let's do that. Because I want, you know, more than one, you know, shooting plant. But those, these guys can. And one good thing about those guys, the uh, squashes, is that they'll just take out a zombie right away. They don't have to. You don't have to wait for them to get primed like the potato mine. They'll just kill immediately. That's one good thing about them. They're just slightly more expensive than the. Potato mine, and they do take longer to refresh, I believe. But. Mm -hmm. 
they're pretty good. I'm gonna need somebody to shoot. Put this guy out. I'm not gonna have somebody in time. Yeah. That worked, but it's getting to the point where I really, really need. Here, get more firepower going. Also, get that squash zombie going. The squash zombie, squash plant. Jeez, what am I saying? Yes, yeah, so I need to plant my squash zombie. Let's put this guy out there. I need to start putting more defenses up. More offensive defenses. Right, the water's covered for now. Gotta start working up the land. I should be able to squash that guy. Yeah. Ah, shoot. Ah, uh, well. At least it's there for the next guy, huh? Somebody, you know what? Uh, I'll put you there. Gonna have to depend on the squash for that guy on the bottom. I don't think he's gonna. I don't think I can kill him in time. right away. I really don't need to have a ton of those Tangle Kelps. They're pretty useful, but what I'd like to do is have a, like these guys in the same line, you know? The walnuts. Let's see. You got money for me, huh? Let's put you over there so you can kill that guy. Alright. I know, I know. It's kind of risky. That's all right. Still have a little bit of space I can use. Oh. That's not a good sign. Definitely gotta get rid of you. Uh, Tango helps to get rid of those scuba zombies pretty quickly. whole purpose. Let's get rid of, uh... Another insta-kill plant. I have to get rid of this guy. I like having that in a row. Those bucket zombies are pain. Hello, goodbye. The money. Uh oh. Oh man. It's a pretty expensive guy to put right in, up in front there, but. Whoa. I had to. 
that was gonna be trouble right there. Where do we need it? Up top, I have. Should have enough of those. Kill the bucket. Zombie. Right there. Shoot, squash. It's faster. Alright. Not too bad. Make him jump. Doesn't matter if he gets killed later. If this guy gets killed later. I just want to make this... Oh, shoot. Just want to make that guy get rid of his... Um... His, uh, pole. So he'll go slower, because... They're the reverse of the uh, newspaper zombies. They're faster be they're faster at first and then get slower as they get when they get rid of their uh, pole but the newspaper zombies are slow at first when they have the newspaper and then when they get rid of the newspaper then they're faster Let's see. do any lines need a repeater I don't think so I think they all have at least two repeaters Help out. Right. Another repeater. Back. There we go. Now you don't want to get too far in the pool exactly for this reason. Because they will pop up up to I think only up to the third square. I don't think they pop up any further than that. I don't think so. The key. Hmm. What could the key go to? Ah, Crazy Dave's car key. Now I can buy stuff. Found the car key, you know what that means. Crazy Dave's Tiddly Winkies is open for business. Have a look, see if you can't find something you like. Eat slots. I could definitely use that, but... I do not. Defense. Ah, right, right. Because uh, you only have the lawnmowers on land, and you need these to protect you on the water in case something gets... Uh, to the end there. Yeah, I'll buy that. It's definitely useful. The garden rake. Ah, right. This will warn you um, where the first zombie's gonna pop up. Then you don't, don't have to waste your first potato mine or squash on them. It's pretty cheap at $100. Pretty useful. And it lasts for three, le three levels, so it's a good investment. Uh, can't afford any of these other ones yet, but the double sunflower is definitely absolutely useful when you can afford it because it's also pretty expensive to plant. I don't remember how much it is. It's like... I don't think it's 500. I think it's... What would it be? The regular sunflower is 50. The double sunflower is going to be expensive, but not as expensive as some other upgrades. Like, it wouldn't be as expensive as the Gatling P. Um, I want to say it's... I want to say it's 200. 150 or 200. I think. I don't know. I'll find out later. But I think that's about en yeah. I think that's about enough for today. But now I can actually buy stuff, so that'll be cool. All right. So, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for being cool, and I'll see you next time.